Have you seen a range of rainbow colors on the surface of a puddle on which there is some oil or petrol? Do you know how those colors came to be there? We will now recreate those colors here. Observe carefully. For this we need prism, stand, screen, black paper, light bulb. Take the black paper and make a small hole on it. Hold the lighted bulb close to the hole. The black screen will block all light except for the rays coming through the hole. This narrow beam of light is then allowed to pass through the prism which is placed on the other side of the screen. Hold the screen on the other side of the prism and observe. A beautiful rainbow of colors is seen on the screen. We can do this outdoors too. For this we need a small plain mirror, the prism and plain paper. Keep the prism in the shade. Now stand under the sun with the mirror and adjust the mirror so that a narrow beam is focused on the side of the prism. You might have to try a few adjustments to get the right angle. Hold the plain paper on the opposite side of the prism to catch the spectrum of colors. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. So the white light on one side of the prism split into seven colors on the other side. This occurred because the light dispersed inside the prism. Dispersion is the phenomenon by which white light splits into its component colors when passed through a prism. This shows us that white light is a combination of seven colors of light. This band of colors is called a spectrum. Did you know that this rainbow that we see in the sky is formed when the sun's rays are dispersed when they pass through water droplets in the air? That is why we see rainbows only in the rainy season. Dispersion is used in spectrophotometers to obtain light rays of only one color.